Today, we're talking about earnest money. Stay tuned, starting now. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacqueline Lovitz with EXP Realty, a way to your new home. Here located in Los Angeles area and keeping you current on matters that concern you. So now what is earnest money? You will hear earnest money as well as good faith deposit interchangeable. They're both the same thing. So now let's say that you are purchasing a home and the homeowner has accepted your offer, which is a big hurdle now in this today's market. So your home ha property has been accepted and now you are under contract. And the seller now is expecting for you to put your earnest money down. So whatever the contract was negotiated for you to send in your money, then that is your time allowed that you're to turn in your earnest money. Typically, it's about three days. So within the three days, you would turn in your money and wire it in to escrow. Now, I've talked about, I have a video on wiring, so check out this video about wiring your money and being cautious about that. So you've now wired in your money. Now you're gonna be going through your home inspection. You have your due diligence. So you're gonna go through your inspections your home inspection, your appraisal, your, you may have a termite, you may have other inspections according to whatever the home inspection or uncovered, I would say. So prior to removing any of your contingencies, just know, if you just know that you are ready to move forward. If you're working with a real estate agent as an agent, I would not allow you to be in breach of contract. You need to stay within the contract, but just make sure that we are in that timeline because it is a timeline for you to have your due diligence in order for the contingencies to be removed. So now all the inspections has been done, all the, uh, the contingencies has been removed, and now we're ready to close the loan. Now, your earnest money is applied to your closing cost. It is not in addition to, it is part of your closing cost. So let's say that you had $10,000 that you, um, for the closing cost and you put $3,000 down. That means all you need to come in with is $7,000 to close the loan. So let's talk about how not to lose your, your earnest deposit. You have three defaults in your contract that will not allow you to lose your inspection. And I have them listed right here. You have your home inspection. So let's say that uh, I don't like what the inspection or what the home what the uh, home inspection uncovered, and the seller was not willing to do anything with it, meaning give you any repairs or negotiate anything. You can now come out of now you can cancel your contract without losing your earnest money. Let's say that the lender cannot perform on the loan, meaning be able to close it or give you the loan. Or let's just say, oh my goodness, the rates have gone up, skyrocketed. And now that puts you out of the ball game of being able to pay for a mortgage that you were able to pay for previously. And now because the interest rates has gone up dramatically, that you now cannot pay for them. Then you can also cancel. Let's say that the appraisal is comes in and it's way off and the seller is not willing down or so now you know what earnest money is if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing leave me a comment and hit the bell so that you know of all new videos that come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays 
I would love to have you as part of my community. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. See you next week.